Donald Trump deleted a post Sunday where he shared a video of senior citizens clashing over their support and opposition of him where one pro-Trump protester could be heard yelling white power. Hey, where's your white hood? Where's your white hood? There you go, white power. Do you hear that? The White House claimed the president didn't hear the white power comment and was instead focused on the support he was witnessing from citizens of the Florida senior community. He did not hear the one statement made on the video, White House spokesman Judd Deere told NBC News. What he did see was tremendous enthusiasm from his many supporters. The video was posted to Twitter by another user on Saturday and shows two minutes of clashes between citizens of the Villages, a massive age-restricted community in Sumter, Florida, between pro-Trump demonstrators and senior counter-protesters denouncing the president. He deleted the tweet after outcry on social media, including from those within his own party. Tim Scott, the sole black GOP senator, denounced Trump posting the video, claiming he should take it down. There's no question. He should not have retweeted and he should just take it down, the South Carolina senator told CNN Sunday morning. Trump will travel to Jacksonville, Florida in August for the Republican National Committee convention where he will give a speech accepting his renomination as the Republican candidate. Hey, where's your white hood? The convention was moved to Florida from the United States and the Democrats would not permit the Lawrence to give the president his desire to crown for his coronation. British broadcast journalist Piers Morgan also questioned if Trump was endorsing the white power shout from the video. The president has already been publicly reprimanded by Twitter two times recently, once for sharing potentially misleading information and another time for abusive behavior. Twitter, for the first time ever, flagged a duo of Trump's tweets at the end of May when he claimed that relying completely on mail-in ballots for elections during coronavirus would lead to high chances of voter fraud. After the blue exclamation points were added to the two tweets, he railed against social media, claiming, specifically, that Twitter was disproportionately targeting him and right-leaning users. His second strike from Twitter came this week when he threatened to use force against protesters trying to establish an autonomous zone outside the White House.